Hi, everyone. Uh, this is the PKP development team, and we are having our regular meeting, but uh, once in a while, we also record a session on some subject that's useful to the development team. Um, in this case, we're talking about debugging a PHP application, and I'll pass it over to Dimitris to talk about that. I don't know if you can, I, I have shared my screen. Uh, have I? Okay, uh, so I am um, using Windows for my development um, uh, environment. So um, I, that from time to time was challenging. And uh, lately I have uh, discovered uh, Docker and uh, I'm trying to find ways to um, use it in my development uh, circle. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, debugging um, a PHP application within the Docker container within my Windows um, uh, uh, machine. So uh, that's how I uh, do that. I have prepared um, a relatively uh, easy uh, PHP application, just an index uh, .php, and uh, for for the preparation of uh, of my machine, I <clears throat> need to uh, download a Docker desktop, which is a Windows application, starts the, do the Docker engine and manages Docker components. Uh, VS Code, which is my um, um, my editor uh, for uh, PHP and uh, generally my working um, uh, space. Uh, PHP debug uh, plugin, uh, which will enable uh, VS Code to start debugging sessions on the running application. And uh, optionally, uh, I'm using Docker VS Code plugin, uh, which is the official plugin for Docker. <laughs> and I will show you play later. Um, um, how that be useful. So first of all, I am creating, I, I have my uh, OJS uh, folder. I'm creating a Docker file, which is this one. We can share files later if uh, uh, anyone needs something. Uh, that just um, 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 installs uh, Apache and uh, MySQL and other things that are not useful for this for 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 a simple index.php but it will be useful for uh, uh OJS if you want to de to debug actual OJS installations. Um so that's uh, the Docker file um configuration. I am also using a Docker compose um a file that actually uh, uh, we'll build two containers, one for the PHP and one for the MySQL. Again, the MySQL is not um, um, used uh, for this uh, example, but it can be used for OJS. I am also I am using a next debug uh, uh, .ini, uh, which will uh, actually be copied inside the container when. Uh, um, if you go back, uh, I copy this in the um, uh, local ETC so that it can be found by a PHP. Um, that is better demonstrated in the um, um, demonstration that Alec did um, uh, uh, when he demonstrated, um, uh, you know, uh, debug sessions. And Finally, uh, you have to uh, configure VS Code. Uh, you have to add this to configurations of launch.json in order to uh, launch the uh, actual debug debugger session, uh, which is rather simple. Uh, then, uh, in order to uh, uh, go and build the containers and actually uh, run the application, you just 
execute the Docker desktop. Uh, then you build the containers, and here is a, um, an image from the Docker um, a plugin of VS Code, uh, which can be you 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 can see that uh, the two containers are created here, and after that, uh, you run the debugger, and uh, if you hit the uh, local host eighty eighty, which is the port that I exposed, um, uh, you can see that the the um, uh, you can add a breakpoint, and the breakpoint is hit. Uh, when the execution goes here. Now, I will demonstrate that in my real <laughs> building the, uh, the images. Here, if you can see, that's the Docker uh, um, uh, plugin for the VS Code. And you can see that the, the two uh, containers are actually running. And uh, I will go ahead and uh, I have my index.php open and I have my breakpoint placed here. I am running the uh, configuration that I added uh, uh, previously, uh, this means that uh, we can, the, the um, uh, debugger actually runs. And if I go ahead and go, oops, hopefully the breakpoint hits and you can you can um, uh, go ahead and uh, investigate the uh, variables and things like that. If you <laughs> go ahead and continue the um, the execution, then you will see the index.php uh, uh, application. Let's say uh, now I if you have the Docker, you can do that. In other ways also, but if you have the Docker um, uh, plugin installed here, you can uh, inspect the files that are actually in your uh, container and you can edit them. So if you add something here and you save it, and you, if you <laughs> relaunch uh, the breakpoint hits, hits again, and you can see the changes here. I uh, so that's that's it. Uh, um, uh, mainly, I uh, have um, added the exact same configuration. Uh, that I displayed here for the debugging in an OJS installation, which is actually here. And the, the only thing that you have to do is change the Docker file because uh, you need more things to be installed and configured for OJS. But uh, if you do that um, uh, um, and uh, follow the simple um, um, uh, things that you have to change and to add to uh, the, the various files and configuration files, um, uh, you can actually have a, a um, debugger session inside your OJS. I can, I can share that uh, if someone likes to uh, investigate it. Um, yeah. So that's it. Uh, Demetrius, that's great. Thank you. Um... I'm thinking uh, maybe we should do a couple of questions. Um, I'll be the first to admit I've never used a PHP debugger, which is hilarious. <laughs> and I'm still using Vim as my IDE. So I'm still pretty prehistoric here. I use, when I'm debugging something, I'll use a mixture of error log calls and that sort of thing. But I do notice as we 
move into the modern world of web development with um, AJAX sub requests, all that sort of thing, it does become a bit tougher to, especially when you're working on something that's infrastructural, um, to isolate the thing you want to work on from all the various sub requests that also happen when you have to load a page. So I think that's a good example where using error log can sometimes be really tricky to debug. Whereas when you're using a debugger, you can uh, capture information about the environment that's running in the moment, inspect it, and it's much more interactive than you know dumping something to a log and having to come back to it later. Um, have you have you got any experience with working with actually anybody on the team? Do you have experience working with debugging outside of the IDE, or is everyone currently working with this within the IDE? What do you mean outside the IDE? Well, we used to have I think what it was called. We used to have a command line tool that would dump you into a debugging session that was just straight from the Linux command line. Um, I'll have to think about what that was called. But for a little while, that was our um, introduction to debugging within the the PHP and PKP coding environment. Um, I'm thinking if I if I don't want to adopt um, an IDE other than Vim, but I do want to use debugging, and I'm not satisfied with the Vim plugins, for example, I'm wondering if anybody knows of a good tool set for that. If not, I can investigate it myself. Uh, Maybe I'll come back to that next week. Oh, go ahead, Vitaly, sorry. Uh, uh, uh... Are you talking about CSH, right? The bugging tool or not? Maybe. So, so the one that works. Uh, so uh, you, you can place a breakpoint anywhere in the code and then uh, on the on the request, uh, you can see all the variables from the command line. Yeah, so yeah, I'm using it time to time. Okay, sounds good. Maybe I'll follow up with you afterwards and we can drop a, a link to that into the comments as well when I post this video. Um, okay, good. And my other question, well, actually, I guess my other thing I wanted to raise is we're kind of combining two different um, subjects here. One is containerization. And we did have a recent um, sprint group on containerization at the Hanover Sprint. So we will be publishing a, a report on that. Um, and that's a really easy way to get your environment configured a certain way, including with the debugger setup. And I know some people find it complicated to set up um, xDebug and do the integration with their ID and all that sort of thing. And containerization helps to, to resolve that. Um, it's also really helpful to um, allow folks to easily switch around their environment if you want to, for example, test a different PHP or a different database server, that sort of thing. And then separately, we have the um, demonstration here of the debugging process, which is using xDebug. Um, Demetrius made reference to the earlier presentation on uh, profiling, which also used xDebug. And, and there I went into a bit of detail on how to set it up standalone. So I think what I'll do after this is to figure out a standalone setup um, that's not using containerization that does the same thing. But both of these are, are useful pathways. Um, a bit of broader context, the dev team with PKP has historically really self-managed their own setups, which is great for diversity, but it also has made it a bit tough for us to have kind of good tooling because everyone's using a different setup. So I think we're going to probably explore a few different ways of doing this. Um, Demetrius, uh, actual question though, sorry for that. Um, when you adopt this and, and have started using it in practice, do you find that it's um, really helping you with a certain kind of, of question? Um, like a thing that you would have normally had to poke around with for a lot longer? Um, what do you think? Well, I'm wondering, like, what kind of scenarios have you found debugging most helpful with that might have been tricky before you had this set up? Uh, mainly, I uh, have this, this setup for um, for uh, SH. Um, I started that with uh, 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 scripts like uh, the merge local script. Uh, which I couldn't uh, execute on my Windows machine, so I had to um, uh, create a, a composer for that. And uh, after that, I extended this for PHP applications. I, uh, in my experience, I don't have any issues uh, working on my Windows uh, machine and debugging uh, PHP applications on my Windows machines, but I, I know that um, um, uh, people um, are using uh, uh, Docker uh, in order to uh, uh, contain um, uh, 
various PHP uh, applications and OJS also, I'm sure. And they lack uh, the remote debugging session that could resolve some issues that uh, uh, they cannot uh, resolve locally, maybe. Uh, so I thought that uh, um, uh, demonstrating that, uh, this uh, could be helpful uh, for Windows users and for uh, other, um, 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 you know, uh, uh, operating system users that uh, just um, using containers in order to um, deploy their um, installations. That sounds great. Yeah, so the containerization part of it's really helped you to isolate yourself from challenges of working within a Windows environment. Um, right. Any other questions from the rest of the team? Just say that, that, that for, for scripting, the process is more, <coughs> more or less the same. Um, and for Windows uh, users, uh, OGS related scripting is already, I mean, um, in place. Um, um, it's very difficult to manage and to, uh, you know, um, uh, work with. So um, I'm hoping, for example, to uh, to have a decent uh, test environment for my Windows. Um, uh, for my Windows um, um, uh, machine also because I I'm 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 having uh, uh, issues uh, performance issues I mean uh, uh, on my Windows uh, regarding um, uh, our testing environment and uh, this is the next thing I want to do is to uh, make um, uh, containers in order to uh, resolve this and have a decent decent local uh, test environment. Um, um, yeah, and, 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 and also the, uh, the thing that, that I said that, um, this is a remote debugging session. That means that the code runs actually on the container or on, you know, a server, uh, other than my, my local machine. And I'm getting the debug information in my local machine. So that is very helpful for. Um, for, uh, for guys that can uh, would use uh, containers or a remote servers in order to uh, debug issues. That sounds great. Okay, and I know um, Eric, who is not here today, he was interested as well in talking about his setup, which I believe is also VS Code and also using Xdebug, but without the containerization. And uh, I think we'll probably kind of show a few more dev environment setups uh, from other folks on the team and probably touch on a few other subjects related to who knows, uh, debugging, scripting, all that sort of thing. So um, please stay tuned for that. Oh, PHP Storm uses PHP Storm, so a different IDE. So uh, stay tuned for that. And we'll probably cover a few more subjects like this in the upcoming uh, few months. Hopefully we'll have a technical channel on our uh, YouTube account that will allow for these to be kind of collected. So if you're interested in the subject, there'll be more about that. So welcome feedback on that. And uh, thanks everyone. Thanks, Demetrius.